Dads of Erie. That's right, and we're live. We are live. We're live. Live and in color here. It's going to be a great afternoon out at the holiday shop. That's right. It's almost over, though. So if you're watching us on Instagram, stop it. Hurry over. Stop it. Get in your car. Don't don't Instagram and drive at the same time. Yeah, it's not worth it. That's not safe. We're going to have a blast today. We are going to have a blast today. I think we're going to have special guests. We have Eats and Sweets out here. Eats and Sweets out here. Flower Wild. Flower Wild. All kinds of shops going on. Where she wanders in style. You should wander in style. Oh, man. No, it's it's wander, not wonder. Wonder or wander? Oh, am I in style? Huh. (laughs) Wander. (laughs) Wander I often wonder if I'm in style. I I don't question it. I know I'm not. I just have given up at this point. (laughs) Dad life has given up. We got our first guest. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Come on over here. We have our friend Brittany. Welcome to the Welcome Dads to of the, Erie. the podcast. Thanks, guys. Good to be a part of it, finally. I know. We're so glad to have you out here. Thanks. I know. Thanks for sticking around while RJ went back to his house <laughs> and grabbed his SIM card. You know, there's a lot to grab to Thank run a podcast. you all live in Erie and are really close. Seriously. <laughs> she was so patient with us. I yeah. was. Thanks for sticking around. You're welcome. Let's you know. get down to business, Brittany. Yeah. First right. question. What is your favorite Christmas song? Favorite Christmas song? Oh, Holy Night. Oh, Hands Holy down. Night. Oh wow! You're not like a baby. It's cold outside. Kind of. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. You're not controversial. I don't like it. Really? Why no. not? You know, I think that they are played too often. That's mm. true. Mm. True that. Yep. And yeah. I also worked in retail for a little bit. So <laughs> oh, wow. that'll that ruin you. Insinuates like <laughs> that. Will, that will ruin you. ruin you. Yeah, that'll yeah. ruin you to all Christmas it's music. Not good. <laughs> but Oh Holy Night, you can't beat a good Oh Holy Night. Right. Yeah, that's, that's very true. 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 That's very true. Um, did you know, I just learned that the song uh, Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree was sung by a 13-year-old. That recording is a 13-year-old singing. What? I don't believe wow. that. Yeah. Look. How crazy is that? Jay's just true facts here, folks. Well, <laughs> partially true facts. <laughs> Unsubstantiated <laughs> claims. <laughs> Wikipedia, that yeah, bad boy. seriously. Uh, but anyways, I found out that. Okay, so you were in the holiday shop. What did you pick up today? Yeah, did you get anything? What did yeah, you get? I picked up a couple of ornaments by the oh. lovely Andrew Osborne because it's the first year that I get to like decorate my own house. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know, it's ornament time. Ornament lovely time. Little oh, joy. Oh. That's nice. So a little the, buffalo plaid. A little buffalo plaid. That's yeah. Is that what that's called? The yes. red and black? Uh-huh. The Buffalo Plaid. I didn't know it had we a name. We did not know that. I didn't. Yep. Did, did different plaids all have names? <laughs> yeah. Um, or is that one just a... Is that just that that's one? That's just that one. Oh, the okay. black and the red. Good. I don't know what the other one is. I don't feel called. stupid then. Now, for our listeners out there, explain what Angie's ornaments always look like or the theme that they run in. So they are more rustic. They're wooden slices that her husband has like sliced up to about like one inch thick. And then she kind of just paints different designs on them. Some say joy. Some have like little trees on them there's a colorado flag one yeah does All she have an eerie one this year because last year she had like a limited edition eerie one she did have a limited edition eerie Ooh. one and it was like a sunset nice. eerie. oh so of course eerie 2018 over the mountains because nice. if you follow angie on instagram the she is about her sunsets and it's yeah. at the painted piano or at gp lou yep. either yep. one but yeah mm-hmm. we'll get you there so what else did you notice that you were possibly gonna get in that yeah was there anything tempting yeah, there were some leather earrings in there Ooh, that I was tempted earrings. to get. Actually, wow. someone from the church said that they wanted to buy it for me. <laughs> and I was like, you're too sweet, but that's okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. <I'm> good. <laughs> you're good. But, yeah, it was good stuff. Nice. Okay, so you have also hit up a different thing last night. You went down to Denver to where? I went to the Chris Kindle Market. Where's that now, at? Explain it to us in our dad listeners. All right. So the Chris Kindle Market is the traditional German market that oh. happens in Germany, but they bring it to Denver. So there's a ton of different like German foods and cuckoo clocks, nutcrackers. There's some Russian dolls they throw in there. And Wait, so is this only like a one night thing or is no, this no, no. like? No, it's a whole the month. Whole they started it in the end of November and it runs until December 23rd. Really? So yeah. where is it downtown or how would you find it? It's on the corner of Arapahoe and 16th Street. It's like oh, off okay. the 16th so right Street off Mall. The 16th Street yep. Mall. Nice. Right yeah. across the street from the clock tower. So you can go ice skating over there, you know, mm-hmm. at Skyline Park and then go across the street, go to the That's market. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. Yeah. So um, what did you pick up there at the Chris Kringle, right? Chris Kindle. Oh, Chris Kindle. Not Chris, Chris Kringle. Kringle. <laughs> Chris, Kringle? <laughs> Chris Kringle Market. The Chris Kringle Market. <laughs> I didn't know what it Chris yeah. Market. Um, I actually didn't pick up anything. It was just to go and hang out. Cool. Cool. Yeah. 
Now, so in your holiday traditions, what are the sort of must you have to do every Christmas season? Christmas lights. You gotta go look at Christmas lights. Oh, oh have yeah. you been over to that neighborhood over in Frederick? No, I haven't. They do. The whole neighborhood does it, and they have like a green belt that runs through the middle of the oh. neighborhood. And they all do their backyards, and you go into their backyards to get like hot chocolate and oh, cookies. Oh, stop! I need to go next weekend. Yeah, they're and they're like super done. Like the whole green belt is covered in lights, like mm. a like a dome. Like it's really cool. Yeah, and on the weekends they serve. Yeah, they like serve like hot yeah. chocolate. Yeah. That's weekends. Yeah, mm, it's so cool. good. And there's usually a Santa out there for the kids or whatever too. Oh, that's yeah. nice. I can't remember the name of the neighborhood now. Though. All right, it's confession time, Brittany. How many times have you listened to Dad's Very? Oh. <laughs> yeah. We want the truth <laughs> and nothing but the truth. <laughs> okay, well, I gotta admit, the first time that I got the notification that Dads of Erie was following me on Instagram <laughs> creeped me out a little bit until I found out that it was you guys. <laughs> oh, you're like, uh, <laughs> and I was dad, like, like uh, okay, some creepy dads in Erie following yeah. me on Instagram. You know, I haven't <laughs> listened as often as you probably would like me to. So <laughs> well, we haven't put I'm episodes out as, as often as we'd like to, so yeah. we're, we're, we're even. We're, <laughs> we're, we're of dad life, I think that probably the only times I've listened to them is with Tim Gaskins. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, That's Tim's, so Tim's a big, big fan. Yeah, Tim's Tim is a huge fan. Yeah. Tim is a huge fan. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for so much for being on the podcast yeah. today. Thanks, guys. You, it was fun. You have officially made our podcast. I know. Did you get a sticker? Is it no. because I think I'm officially in Erie now? There you go. Oh, oh man. Oh, welcome to Erie. Oh, thank you. We look forward to seeing that back <laughs> on your Subaru. Yeah. On the back, on the back of Subaru. I, I don't know. No. I don't, I no. don't have, no. I don't have any know. stickers. No. That's mm-hmm. not going to be the first sticker that I put That's on That's not how this there. works. This is not how this works. I mean, I give you, you guys, a sticker and you got to put it on there. Yeah. That's how this works. All right. Wait, first before we say goodbye to Brittany, what is your favorite coffee shop in the 20-minute radius of Erie? Oh. Oh. Since you're, uh, I know, a lover of coffee, what is your favorite one? 20-minute radius. Of Erie. I can't. It, it can't be further than twenty minutes. No. It has is to it be. McDonald's uh, coffee? No. <laughs> oh. Is it Burger King? No. It would have to be. If it's further, it'd be Amethyst down in Denver. That's, that's a little the too best. far. Yeah, that's, that's a little too far for coffee. <laughs> 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 I'm well, gonna take an hour lives drive down there. Coffee. I go down there oh, all the time. Okay. You have any least an excuse um, to go down there? Oh, so this place used to be called Proper Grounds, but they changed their name to Otis Coffee. Oh. No. And I've been in there since they switched it up, and I actually think I prefer it. Are they still Better there now. off, what, like South Public and yep. Table Mesa? Mm-hmm. Right or over there uh, across the street from Flatirons. So South Boulder Road. why did yeah. they change the name? Do you know? Um, they just kind of were doing rebranding. They weren't doing that yeah. well as proper, so they decided to change it and kind of make it more homey. Yeah, because it was uh, a little pretentious. Yep, it was. Uh, You're ago. pretentious. Yeah, it was pretentious for my brother, and that's saying something. Yeah, that's <laughs> <is. laughs> <So laughs> Brother, don't under if the bus. If your brother thinks it's too, it's too pretentious, yeah, that's that's pretty saying pretty something. Pretty I mean, right. he works at one of the best. He worked at one of the best coffee shops in America yeah. for a while. So, America, and that was kind of pretentious America, for in America. It, it was. It was voted the best coffee house last I, few I just, years. I'm just, Which I'm just emphasizing you don't even so know. the listeners know. That it's America. It well, is the best. Kristen and I went into that coffee shop one time, and I thought, I am out of my element. These people are way too cool. <laughs> well, yeah, in Amarillo, Texas. <laughs> yeah, it's in Amarillo, Texas. The number one place. coffee shop. It's not like Seattle no. or Portland. No. Or voted. It, it voted the best wow. coffee house in America the last two years. I guess we should take a pilgrimage. <laughs> <laughs> or he did. You can. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I go Because I don't drink time. coffee, so there's no point in me going, <laughs> yeah, I want to enjoy it. I'd be like, no. this is stupid. If you're going to go, you got to at least go to Donut Stop, too, while you're there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so we had our Lamar's today, Saturday. I saw that. Man, I'll tell you what. Lamar's cannot be beat in Colorado. That's my statement. That's I don't disagree. I don't know. I haven't had a ton of different donut places. I'm yeah. very picky. You haven't had voodoo? I hate Krispy Kreme. Do you yeah. like Voodoo? Voodoo. I do. I think they're a little pretentious. Yeah, it's a little. Well. It's more the. It's more the gag of of yep. the Voodoo donuts. Than yeah, it is the, the actual different donut. ones. Yeah, yeah that's the fact what that you I can don't get like them like yeah. all like at the late hours of the night too. Yeah, yeah that's sort of nice. I'd probably say Lamar's is up there. Yeah, it's got to be right. Yeah. There's no. It's maybe a Winchell's, but that's uh, case I mean, by case. I think Winchell's is gross. Yeah, I don't. Like I really Winchell's don't either. like Winchell's at all. No. Wow. And I'm not really super impressed with Dunkin'. I don't get the appeal to Dunkin'. Dunkin's gross. Duncan is a pretty standard. I mean, yeah. King Supers might beat out Duncan. Oh, I think so. I think they're just kind of the standard, like, meh, donuts. Yeah. Mm. Well, the Lamar's is pretty hard to beat. Have you had Lamar? Not in a long time. Oh, you should have Oh, Lamar's. man. You should go to right now. 
Get your donut for the day. Go to Louisville. Get yeah. your Lamar's. Go to Louisville. That's, that's the, the closest, closest one? one, I think. Chocolate covered old fashioned is my. Oh. That's like where it's at. That's a good choice. Old fashioned. Old I like. Fashioned. The, I'm a, I love cake donuts though. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, You're like one of the few people I know like who loves. Like a blueberry cake, cake donut. Really? You cannot beat a good <sighs> blueberry cake donut. I'm all about the ra- I'm a raised. That. I'm a raised. What is it? Raised or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. Raised like Long John. Yeah, he's uh, a long time guy. The fluff filling. The fluff. That, like he it's loves. just straight sugar, but <laughs> it's good. It's where it's at. No. The fluff. Old fashioned. Fluff. I don't know. You know, that's what it is. <laughs> Anything with, but see, Brittany and I did grow up in a town which created the cherry covered uh, donut, which you is. You can never beat the cherry glazed it's, it's, donut. When we that. Des- yeah, when we describe it to people, they're like, really? That's really? the best ever? And it really is. It really is. Yeah. yeah I'm mm-hmm. going home in January and I will definitely bring back. A dozen so, uh, of those. Yes. Some cherry donuts. Just to okay. sh- savor them. Brittany, we're so thankful you're here today. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks for stopping uh, at the have podcast. Have a good rest of the show. Enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy Hope you get holidays. some awesome other interviewees. Oh. Yeah, we'll, we'll get grab, somebody. Grab Andrew Osborne in there. We'll grab, we'll grab we'll her for episode, episode 45. Yeah. We'll yeah. All right. Bye, guys. Part two. See ya. See ya. Be or sure to take a little more Danish with you as you yeah, leave. Take, and don't forget your ornaments, yo. Yo, your ornaments, yeah. Yeah, don't forget. There you go. There you go. Your buffalo flannel. Your what what flannel is that then? The black and what are you wearing? What is this? Is it flan- <laughs> there's no name. Oh, okay. Apparently, there's not names. Well, while we're in this episode, we might as well talk about Erie football. Yeah, we had some disappointing news this last week. I guess when I left the game early, that one game, I didn't realize Noah Roper had gotten hurt. So, yep. Despite and the fact that they had won, they they were out him. And they got whomped on by uh in the quarterfinal. In the quarterfinal, they got beat Which, by Pueblo a, East or whatever it was. It's a great run for the year. It is. I mean, undefeated all the way up until the last. That's pretty incredible. Yeah, that's pretty incredible. And hats off to Erie for being so consistent all year long. Yeah. I mean, really, just really good, consistent football. Yeah. Now, uh, and we also hope Noah heals up as fast as possible because he has a college career. He's ahead got of some him. college career ahead of him. So yeah, let's you know. But what does our depth look like from next year as the unofficial official Erie football? I think there's some good players. Obviously, now seeing the team without Noah, I think there's some there's some lacking. So yeah. maybe there's some freshmen coming up. You know, we need a. I, I think we need to drink some more protein shakes. We're pretty young and pretty small. <laughs> that might help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some more weightlifting. Some more weightlifting and time protein gym, shakes yeah. might help us this year. Yeah, anybody well, want to sponsor <laughs> Erie's protein shake in- intake? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure there's someone out there. That we'll we'll, we'll make we'll make the connection. You hit us up. Yeah, we'll make we'll yeah. make sure we get some protein shakes for those boys. Yeah, yeah. We also got eats and sweets, and we've tried their Danish today. You tried it? Yeah, I tried the Danish. Yeah, I no, Danish. Well, you know, I, I went up for coffee, and he goes, "You want the last Danish?" And I said, "Yes." Yeah. Uh, <laughs> was it a question yeah. before? Oh, because yeah. it's not now. And um, this is the first time I'm actually eaten with Eaton Sweets. You've never been to their location in, down, in Old Town, downtown Lafayette? Oh, that's right. Oh, okay. Right there by the water, the splash pad there. And that's right. Off South Public Road. They have the best gluten-free, dairy-free cupcake in the state. They do a lot of that good stuff. Yeah, they do a really good job. I think they're serving booze now, too. Really? Yeah, I think they're doing a wine. Huh. I noticed that well, during the Peach Festival. Anytime we have a hankering for a good cupcake, we'll drive over to Eat and Sweets. Yeah, over to Lafayette. Yep. Old Town Lafayette, we were just down there, actually, on a date night. We were there a couple weeks ago. This yeah. is not you and I, not but yeah. with, <laughs> our what, wives. with the wives yeah. and friends. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, we really enjoyed um, downtown I think Old, uh, Old La- Town. Old Town, downtown Lafayette there, man, is really coming up. A lot of good restaurants. We ate at William Oliver. William Oliver. It's kind of a traditional pub. With some bacon. A lot of bacon. A lot of pork products yeah and a lot and of whiskey <laughs> which is never a bad not thing. a bad combo yeah but, you know it was just a lot but it was really good i had um one of their hot dogs which was really yeah and i had like a plate full of just pork just different kinds of pork that's pretty cool it was and good. then we we swung over to a new place i'd never been to before the, do you uh, remember that chocolate place yeah what is it called I don't know. I don't I'm know. Asking you, I can't remember right now. We'll figure but that the out. The chocolatier, and, and, yeah, Emporium. It's right there in Old Town, <laughs> which was fun because they have live piano every night. We've they do. Fi- we and they have out they have thing. gelato and they have chocolate. Yeah, and it was a delightful time. It was a good. It was a good way to kind of do that date night too. Like right, almost like a progressive dinner. Almost dinner almost. and dessert. Totally, <laughs> two places makes sense. Um, but yeah, we we had a lot of fun that date night. And Old Town yeah. Lafayette has really gotten better. Yeah. All right, let's. Let's 
where are we at on time? In we're this? at 15 minutes. We could, t- we could do our top five dad Christmas presents. Top five dad Christmas presents? Why don't you go with, what's, what's, your, what's your number five? Let's go start at the bottom. Uh, house slippers. Ooh. Annual traditional house house slippers house slippers which house slippers last about a year do they i don't wear them so i don't really know but you know what i've never worn them ever until i had wood floors in my house and then it was a must i could see that because i have carpet currently and i could see if i had to be on the wood floor a lot more i'd be because i have wood floor in the kitchen right but if i had to be on the wood floor our wood time is cold in the winter cold and hard on your feet yep so house slippers are my five now what's your four my four I'm gonna say like a, uh, a a streaming device, like a Fire TV stick, a Roku, an oh. Apple TV. Because if you don't have one, yeah. Because I recently upgraded mine because it was on sale for Black Friday, and I paid like a whopping twenty five dollars for a new Fire TV stick. Yeah, and I'm amazed at the difference. So I'm thinking it's one of those things, probably biannually every two years. Is a Fire Stick. You should probably upgrade your your streaming device. Okay. I think the software gets out of out of date, and they you know add more memory or whatever, yeah. or faster processing. So. That's interesting because I've never been happy with my Fire Stick before. I think you if know? you had a new one, you'd be really happy with it. Really? It's incredibly fast. Cool, huh? I so, plan on coming over and checking it yeah, out. Yeah, you should. All right, three. Three. Man, I would say a new pocket knife Ooh, is a good dad's. It's always a good dad gift. Yeah, you know, one of those ones that opens mostly letters in Amazon boxes. Yeah, pocket knife. in reality, yeah. Yeah. You might think you're Bear grills, but you're really just opening uh, your your packages and your mail. Yeah, what's and some s- fruit snacks? If a w- wife like, oh, that's a really good idea. What would you suggest would be the way to go with pocket knives? You know There's what? a lot out there. I would say a, a shout out to this website, knifehq.com. Oh, okay. So they they do a really good job of uh, of keeping kind of the cheap bad stuff off the website. So yeah. if your budget's pretty low, I would say anything that's in your budget on their website is going to be worth the money versus yep. like going to like a Walmart and buying you know right. some really cheap stuff. So they've done a better job of because I think Amazon has some of those, and you could definitely yeah. price check to Amazon, especially if you find a model that you think your guy would like. Right. Then do that, but I think overall, I think you got to go to like a, a real knife website. Okay, that's interesting because I I don't look for the price point. I look for the clip that goes how it carries how it yeah. carries. If so yeah, the clip needs to go above and the knife goes all the way into the pocket they call that deep carry deep carry and that's one of those things that are good about too is that like you can look at things that have specific like deep carry clips or whatever so it's pretty nice okay number two number two ooh, new underwear (laughs) because let's be honest guys we're not thinking about our underwear until it gets real bad yeah it starts to look a little like swiss cheese you know some stuff starts falling out so New underwear is, isn't a bad thing. Yeah, same with socks, too, because I looked down the other day. I got home from work, and I took off my shoes, and I was like, why does my foot feel cold? And right. I was like, oh, there's a giant hole in the bottom of my sock. Yeah. Let's talk about dad underwear. Yeah. Because most women would just go to Walmart and get Hanes. That's that's okay sometimes. You think so? That's what I do. Man, I don't know. Under Armour and Champions have been my friends for a couple that of years. That is true. I, I have a few pairs of like better ones, like what's the Ex Officio or whatever it yeah. is, those ones. I have a couple of those. Like th- When I travel, those are totally worth it. So and I could see, yeah, but maybe buying a little bit better underwear. Yeah. Un- Under Armour uh, lasts a really long time. Yeah, and they are comfortable. They're really comfortable. Uh, and Champions and Champs, I mean, or, yeah, Champions Champion. does a really good job yeah. with theirs. So if you're looking for underwear for your dude, Amazon's a good place to go, too. That's true. Or now there's that whole Under Armour outlet yeah. at the new outlet mall over here by us. Which the Under Armour, the Coleman, and the Merrill are the best stores there. Yeah. The Merrill's great. And the Coleman's where we bought a new tent. Yeah. Or, or I told you. The, yeah, you told me. You didn't know it was even there. It's pretty sweet. That's what All I'm right. talking about. Number one. Number one. I don't know if I, I should know. say it. What? Lingerie. Not for me. Oh, <laughs> this is a family-friendly podcast, Jay. <laughs> That's Man. why I said it. You're my forning <laughs> after the effect, after effect. That's a great Christmas present. It is a good one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna say no to that, it's but not, we'll just leave it at that. Yeah, because it is a family-friendly podcast. You don't put it under the Christmas tree. No, either. no, no, no. That, yeah. that gets unwrapped later. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the podcast has gone to a whole other level. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we do. <laughs> All right, cool. That's a number one. That's yeah. number one. That's, that's number one. I think we should just end the podcast with that. Yeah, that's a mic uh, drop. There's not a better moment. way to end that. 
All right, friends. We All look right. forward to hanging out with you, catching we'll up on you. We'll see you guys on episode 45, which will be part two from the holiday shop. Merry Christmas. We're about to go shop for you our wealthy animals. Yep. You can hit us up on Instagram, dadsaviri, uh, dadsaviri, gmail.com if you want to shoot us an email. Thanks for listening. Peace.